Hey, and welcome to the first ever ATS Recap, Episode 1. I'm Brian, I'm going to take you through the topics today. Starting with, well, it's confirmed, Kim Jong-il is dead. He died of physical and mental overwork. Actually, that's North Korea's way of saying he had a heart attack. Shortly after the announcement, the viral video started rolling in. Check this video out. And now let's recap our favorite Kim Jong-il facts. He's supernatural. He's a fashion icon. He's the best natural golfer in history. He created the hamburger. He also loves Hennessy, spending over half a million dollars a year on cognac, when an average North Korean only pulls in about a thousand US dollars a year. My favorite fun fact, it was rumored Kim Jong-il deported all the short people from North Korea so they could stop mingling in the DNA pool. So do you think North Korea is as dangerous as they once were? Weigh in on the thread at the link below. Ron Paul shows Michelle Bachman She's an intellectual lightweight. Michelle Bachman started by falsely quoting the IAEA report, the International Atomic Energy Agency, and was promptly steamrolled by Ron Paul. And here's the footage. And we have an IAEA report that just recently came out that said literally Iran is within just months of being able to obtain that weapon. Okay. Nothing could be more dangerous than the comments that I, we I just need heard. To finish. If she thinks we live in a dangerous world, she ought to think back when I was drafted in 19. 1962 with the nuclear missiles in Cuba and Kennedy calls Khrushchev and talks to him and talks him out of this and we don't have a nuclear exchange and you're trying to dramatize this that we have to go and, and treat Iran like we've treated Iraq and kill a million Iraqis and 8,000 some Americans have died since we've gone to war you cannot solve these problems with war you can solve the problems if we follow our Constitution go to war only when we declare the war go in and win them and get them over with instead of this endless fighting and and this endless attitude that we have an uh, enemy all around the world. But as president, I, think we've been pretty... I stand on the side of peace. Ouch. I personally think detached individual said it best. The link to his response and others is below. I love how these lunatics preach about how Iran is so violent. And yet they neglect to recognize that Iran has not invaded any other country, has not imprisoned a whole nation, doesn't steal land from their neighbors, has not refused to acknowledge their own nuclear capabilities, does not openly spy and infiltrate other nations, and hasn't committed countless murders abroad or used illegal practices. After the debate, Ron Paul pulled in some serious numbers at the Iowa straw poll. Ron Paul, 23%. Mitt Romney, 20%. Newt Gingrich, 14%. Rick Santorum, 10%. Michelle Bachman, 10%. Rick Perry, 10%. John Hutzman, 4%. And in last place, Gary Johnson at 2%. Weigh in on the Ron Paul as the front runner link down below. So over the weekend, shit hit the can on Facebook when this photo was released. This special edition Pepsi can was launched for the 40th year anniversary of Dubai being part of the UAE, the United Arab Emirates. Dubai Refreshments is the sole franchise, manufacturer, and distributor of Pepsi products in Dubai. They're creating 4 million special edition cans symbolizing each of the seven Emirates with distinct landmarks to highlight how their individual achievements bound together make the strongest of unions. And this can's got a lot of people upset, saying the design resembles the Twin Towers and 9-11. When I first look at the can, I see Dubai's vast and economical reach, from sophisticated skyscrapers to first-class commercial and private transportation, in the air or on land. This does remind me of another story on ATS. The link's below. A Dutch architecture firm designed twin residential skyscrapers with a pixelated cloud in the middle of the 27th floor. It's scheduled to be complete in 2015 in Seoul, South Korea. So what do you think? Does the Pepsi can resemble 9-11 and offend Americans? Or does the skyscraper plan for Seoul a bigger diss to the American public and the victims of 9-11? Weigh in on the thread in the link pasted below. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for checking out ATS Recap. Episode 2 airs Wednesday. See you then.